Hey, what's up everyone? Hitbo TC here, and whether you're a daring space explorer, a shrewd merchant, or like me, a roguish space pirate, welcome to another round of invaluable tips and tricks for your upcoming odyssey through Starfield. Now sit back, relax, and let's dive into some tips and tricks for your journey ahead. Now I will do my best to not do any spoilers because I don't want to ruin this amazing game for you. So with that being said, let's jump in. Character creation can be a vortex of endless possibilities. However, don't let it overwhelm you. The truth is your choice of backgrounds and traits isn't as crucial as you may think. This is your RPG playground, so pick what feels fun and interesting. On my first playthrough, I went with kid stuff, which meant I had parents and had to send them a portion of my credits home every week. But I also received random gifts. It added a unique flavor to my adventure and maybe even a scolding from my parents when I would do something bad. Now, remember, the essence of the game lies in having a blast, so prioritize that over character creation in decision. Before you take your first steps into the great unknown, ensure you've got a top-notch spacesuit. Luckily, there's a treasure trove of high-quality gear waiting for you at the Lodge on New Atlantis. Sure, it might be locked up behind a master-level lock, but there's a little secret. Maneuver your cursor between the crack until you spot the mannequin prompt and presto. You've just upgraded your wardrobe from minor to a bona fide explorer. Now, let's quickly demystify the menus and the user interface in Starfield. And before I go any further, I want to talk about one of the most game changing features, and that is simply the set course feature, and it is for missions. Simply select your mission and hit set course. It'll automatically guide your spacecraft to your destination, leaving you with just one task hit travel. It's as easy as stargazing on a clear night. Now, that feature alone has saved me a ton of time in Starfield and was incredibly difficult uh, for me to navigate initially. And I had someone pointed out to me that you could just set course. And like I said, it was a game changer. And that's kind of what the Starfield menus are. They kind of overcomplicate it, but one thing that is the saving grace for Starfield is when you are staring at the screen they do have the prompts for everything that you need to do. It just takes some time getting used to it. So one of the tips that I have here is simply take the time that you need to get used to the menu, especially favoriting your weapons and tools that you can quickly access. And that is right here. So like I said, it's always there for you to see, but uh, favoriting things was really beneficial to me. You can put it on your quick select menu. Uh, and the set course feature. Those two things alone were game changers, so keep an eye out for that. Mastering lock picking can open doors literally to hidden treasures. Here's a handy tip. When you hover over a combination that works for the lock, it'll turn blue, making it a breeze to quickly identify the correct rings to use. Say goodbye to lock picking frustration because this one was a big one for me and it took me a while to kind of see what was going on. And thankfully, somebody in chat saw me suffering and pointed that out to me and that was a game changer. So as you start leveling up your lock picking, make sure to kind of look for that blue ring instead uh, of the gray. If it's gray, it means that you can't use it. And if it's blue, it means you can use it in that ring. Now, speaking of lock picking, skills are the lifeblood of your character's development. Remember, you need to level them up through challenges. While there are numerous skills to explore, a few stand out for early consideration. Stealth, boost pack training, piloting, security, and targeting control systems. But don't forget the joys of experimentation. I had a blast with the dueling skill, which led me to a secret outpost and legendary armor on my first playthrough. So spice it up. I will say though, something to note for skills is each skill, you have to have the base skill unlocked. And then once you do that, you can slowly start working towards the next rank for that skill because each level has specific challenges so once you kind of know the skills that you want to go with it'll help you kind of understand the challenges that you have to do so that you can unlock the next rank so something to kind of note but those are the best kind of starting skills like i said stealth boost pack training pilot security and targeting control systems ah encumbrance the bane of our existence in bethesda games but fear not in starfield it's more manageable when overburning, you can still move, shoot, jump, and even sprint, but there's a catch. Your oxygen depletes faster, and you'll accumulate CO2, nibbling at your health. 
Plus, you'll lose the luxury of fast travel. Now, you can ease your burden by traveling with companions or designating a uh, hoarder's corner on your ship. Just be cautious, items left in the corner may vanish over time, so it is best practice to store your items that you don't want to lose on your ship's cargo or on your traveling companion. All right, let's get down to business. During my initial playthrough, a mishap at New Atlantis led to a substantial bounty on my head, courtesy of the UC. Unfortunately, this hindered my progress in the main story missions. So, in the true spirit of a resourceful spacefarer with a price on their head, I decided to make a tactful retreat. In this case, I ventured to another celestial body that harbored a spaceship in orbit. Upon closer inspection, I discovered a note hinting at a concealed outpost nestled on Denobala or Denobali or I'm not sure how to say it. Denali, Denalo IB, IB. Picture this outpost as the Starfield universe's equivalent of Batman's secret lair. Now, conquering this mission proved to be quite a challenge. But my journey was made more manageable thanks to conveniently placed cots within the base for health restoration. Moreover, my dueling skill that I mentioned earlier allowed me to engage adversaries one by one, turning the tide of battle in my favor. Ultimately, my unwavering determination paid off, and I triumphed at the outpost's heart, unlocking the coveted Razor Leaf and the legendary Mantis Armor. If I could stumble upon these incredible rewards during my first playthrough, rest assured that you can too. So heed the call of adventure in Starfield, and may your journey through the cosmos be as epic as mine. Now, that being said, amidst the wealth of guides and strategies out there, don't lose sight on the game's core, exploration and enjoyment. Don't get caught up in the meta or, quote, the right way to play. You're an intrepid space explorer, charting your own course, revel in this freedom, delight in the charm, and savor every moment. Bethesda games are tailor-made for this kind of immersive experience. A final nugget of wisdom, quick save frequently. When you're hit by a wild impulse to confront a commanding officer or maybe try something incredibly risky, quick save is your ticket to adventure. It's the safety net that lets you experiment without consequences. As you embark on your Starfield voyage, remember to keep your eyes on the stars your senses sharp, and your spirit of adventure burning brightly. This is Bethesda's gift to us, an RPG canvas for our wildest dreams. Well, friends, safe travels, and may the cosmos be your playground.